No there device. we go. Now it says we're live. Well, howdy. Uh, first live, there's always a problem. Always a problem. You got to hit two buttons, not one, but two. Ah, so complicated. Anyway, this is Doug, and this is a workshop of Wood Spun Around. It is good to have you with me today. Uh, just said, with this is my first live. Uh, I'm excited about it. Been working at it for a little while and uh, had some encouragement from several folks. One of those is uh, Mark Beckett. Mark's on here with me tonight. Uh, also, Wayne Clasper. I am so happy for, that Wayne could be here. Uh, Pete was going to be with us tonight, but his cough has gotten worse and he's not feeling so good. I think he's in the chat, but uh, we're, we'll, we're, we'll carry on uh, without him tonight and we'll have him in the future. So I'm excited. Let me bring these other two guys in. I believe we can go right there. Yeah, and there is everybody. Hey, guys. It is good to have you. Mark Beckett, we all know him. You got to say his name twice because it's Mark Beckett, repeat, repeat, repeat. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there's Wayne Clasper of Clasperonis. So, um, good evening. Good evening. So Hello, good everybody. to have you guys with us tonight. So, uh, I'm going to put you guys back in the background. Uh, we're going to work on uh, this piece of this piece of pine here. Uh, this is construction pine. It was a piece of uh, two by eight, I believe it was. Yeah, we're down to what? Two by, well, it's eight and three quarters still. Uh, we'll, we won't take a, well, I may take a little of this off post-production. How's that? Because it's, it's got to be under eight inches to fit with hashtag week. So we're going to make this our hashtag week entry. Uh, like I said, construction pine. Um, the question was asked, is this old growth or new growth? Um, I don't think y'all, well, there you go. Um, you can see the grain lines there. It's, uh, this is new growth. It's nothing old growth about. It. I have some old growth pine uh, that I'll save that for another project, probably a goblet or a box, um, but it's a fine piece of stuff. And I know for a fact, um, I know how old that wood is. Don't know when it was cut down, but I know how old the tree was and I know how long it was in use before it was taken out of a building and I got hold of it. So. Uh, We'll share that at another time. Uh, I'm going to let the guys uh, welcome everybody into the chat while I get this on the worm screw. I've got a um, hole in the back ready to go for the worm screw. Already got that turned. And uh, so uh, I don't know who wants to uh, say hello to everybody. I'll do it and Wayne will pick I'll up the stragglers. Yeah. I was just going to say before you start turning, Doug, a lot of people say if you can turn pine well, you're a good turner. Because getting a we'll good see. finish off a of pine is hard to do. Right, so from the chat, we've got the first person in was Pete from Twisted Trees. And then we've got Jennifer's Grafting Creations, Norman Greenwell, uh, Wayne Wood Turner, RC Wood Turning. Um, we've got Bailey's Woodworks, Malcolm Douglas, Roger Kent, Ward Wilson, a whole other country. Uh, Wifey Woodshed, Tony Glenclove Woodworks, Ian Leach, Rob from Clingspore, Todd at Glencove Woodworks, Fred Gilliver, we've got Broom Rider 269. Hello, Broom Rider. Liz, how are you doing? Hi, Liz. Fred Gilliver. And going down the list even further, Lucy Bundy Rose in. Hello, Lucy. Roger Kent. Uh, Gary Glass. Clinton Wood Dancers. And JP Woodworks in. Gerard the French Turners in. Bonsoir. And I think I've reached the bottom of the list. I have. Welcome, everybody. Graham Hain. Just popped in. And Jimmy did. Jimmy did see Mr. Fluffy. Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> no, he didn't say that, really. <laughs> it Ward did. Ward called, called me Fluffy today and he asked Mr. Live. Yes, he did. Colin keeps <laughs> asking me what that's about. I refuse to tell him. <laughs> All right, guys, I do have my face shield on. Uh, we're running about 900 RPMs. Um, we're working on a Nova 1640. I have the uh, electronic speed control upgrade on, and so I can change my speeds pretty readily. 
using, uh, I'm going to start off today with a sorby half inch, well, what I call this half inch bowl gouge. You guys call it something, uh, uh, a three eighths. In fact, it's labeled yeah, on be here, a three eighths. Yeah. yeah. It's labeled right there. I can barely see it. Three eighths. Andrew's just, just start... come in from here, Jake. Yeah. All right, precious. No, Andrew. <laughs> and Ruby's just come in as well. Hi, Ruby. Oh, Ruby, I thought you had an appointment, dear. She's watching from her phone. <laughs> Ah, that'll work. Right, JP has said for you, Doug, it's time for him to call you out. Come on then, Doug. Let's see if you can go faster than Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably not today. I'm going to turn my... Brian at Hartwood Turnings joint. Hey Brian. hey, Brian. That's okay, Pete. You don't have to. And Lucy says it's chaos in her house tonight, or in this house tonight. That's probably because you're still awake, Lucy. Oh, well, they've got a birthday girl in the house. Oh, of today. course they have, yes. A three-year-old. Oh, it'd be three again. I am looking at this edge as I get close. Uh, uh, that's about the thickness I want so that when I turn it around, I still have enough thickness to uh, deal with. But we are going to make a, a bit of a smoothing cut right through here. William Kenny's in. Hi, William. Hey, William. Hey, William. RC Woodturning's asking, Doug, are you going to leave the corners like he does? I am going to leave the corners on this one. Everybody's a show off. <laughs> Mark's already been crying about it, so still gonna leave more. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> All so right. Last year. Last year. That's kind of like leaving the stub in the center, right? Yeah, I said catching the, catching the stub. Catching the stub. Yeah, I will still do that. Even though it's I do it once in a while. I'll do it once in a while just to make sure I still can. And old every time I do, River I think. Wood, old man River Woodturner has just joined. He says, we all know the English are weird. Yeah. And. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Just making myself a, a mark so that when I do a recess here, it'll be the right size. Hate having to redo stuff, but I still do it once in a while. Back up, Oop. okay, just over 900. <laughs> oh, the irony! Lucy Bundy Rose just asked, Hi, old man Wood Turner, why are we weird? Really, yeah. really, <laughs> Lucy. Now, Pete did his recess this morning about, uh, what was that, Pete? About two mil, one and a half or two mil deep? I'm yeah, going just usually, a hair deeper than that, but not much. No, no. I usually do mine about three, three mil, yeah. about yeah. near. When I do them, I do three. That's I about what the last time is. I did a recess. Well, I, I like a tenon typically, um, but for these plates, I found that a recess just works a little better. Um, Gives you a bit of a better base to sit on. Yeah, and I don't have to worry about the thickness quite as much. Hidden leeches in. Oh, you in? I have gone through the bottom of one or two of these, and uh, that's just not my favorite thing to do. Kev at 9K Creations is in. Hey, Kev. Right there, Kev. Just using that little quarter-inch skew to square up or that uh, <laughs> recess. Lucy said she can't actually hear what's being said. She's got four overexcited children <laughs> and one husband that's winding them up. Oh, surely not. 
when my son was three, four years old, I would wind him up once in a while, and my wife would get so angry. I was just getting him calmed down. Well, okay, but I haven't seen him in three days, so I'm going to bump that speed up just a hair. And what up? All right, I got too much stuff in the way. Hey, Jennifer. There we go. Hey, just take my tail stalk off. Oh, stand by your beds. Zombie wood turners oh, in. Zed, Zed. Hello, Zed. There's trouble. Zed, how are you doing? Cute jokes. Yeah. Old Man River said, first of all, you drive on the wrong side of the road. No, actually, we drive on the proper side of the road. And there is a reason behind that, which I might explain tomorrow night on my life. And you, measure measure your your and you measure your tools pass backwards. Yeah, we do that. We do do the tools just to annoy people. Just calming down some of my sanding that I need to do. It's a little shear scrape. Just a little tiny foot on there just to give a shadow line underneath this. It doesn't sit flat on the table. Right, Peter said, the best bit about being a grandparent is I get to feed them sugar, wind them up, and then run away, leaving the parents to deal with the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is that. All right. Let's see what kind of surface we've got there. In ward, in ward scene, and we put the deed backwards. That is confusing. See, that to me says 5th of well, September. <clears throat> then as you went. Yeah, the 5th of that's September. exactly what it says. We write it as we say it. See? Kev said, yeah, yeah, Kev has said that's looking a uh, very nice dog. Well, thank you. We'll see if it stays that way. <laughs> you never know, do we, Mark? <laughs> I'm, look, I'm looking for those corners. Oh boy, yep. they're still. <laughs> we still got corners. <laughs> oh, Zed's here we go. Zed started. Let's see if I get my. Why did the tomato turn red? I guess you did. The the what I for me. Um, this is not the case for everybody, but for me, the trick is to leave enough here to begin with. When you're working on the bottom, this is still. Still not finished, but I'll sand that to where it's a nice continual curve off the edge. There you can see it. There's still just a little bit of a step, but I'll sand that off. Um, if it's I don't do like that, yeah, sort of. If I don't leave just a little bit, and or if I forget, I'll come on this top side and just take that corner right off. And then it's you either take it to the saw and trim those edges off, or you make it a round bottom bowl. But now we're ready to take it off. So, Dad said, why did the tomato turn red? Because he saw the salad dressing. That's right. <laughs> why did the coffee call the police? It got mugged. Oh. <sighs> Lord. I worry. Those are wards or Zed? There's probably more countries in the world there's a few comments coming in about what side of the road people drive on. There's a, I think there are more countries in the world actually drive on the left and drive on the right. Ben Jammin's in. Hello, Ben. I'll see oh, you for a while. God. He could be joining up. Yeah, he he could good. be joining up with Zed. Hello. We're in trouble now. It's a piece of walnut, by the way, Ben. <laughs> I gotta think about what I'm doing here. Take your time, right. Doug. Take your time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I just 
I was just getting ahead of myself. Do. Getting ahead of myself is all. Every once in a while, the, the biggest downfall of this lathe is the banjo it, for me. Um, the, the lockdown nut underneath continually comes loose. And so I have to periodically go back under and take my big Allen wrench and, and uh, tighten that booger up. One of these days, oh, I'm nice. going to get some lock okay. put on it. Door 60s just, in. If like you just one. get it, well, I've forgotten what they're called now. Hi, Andy. There's um, You guys nylon. call that an Allen key, right? I call it an Allen wrench, but it's same difference. Yeah. Are you thinking of one of those um, nylock nuts? That's what it's, I was thinking of. Well, yeah, yeah thank it's you. not really a nut. It's a bolt that uh, an Allen bolt that goes up through the plate, and so. All uh, right, I'm with you. Yeah. What I'm going to have to get is some Loctite. Um, they make a, a Loctite that is not permanent, and that will work tremendously. Okay, we're clear. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to leave a little bit of rim on this um, because I want to do some texture on it. Now, Rob is, from Klingspore has just come in and said, oh, you can cheat and use cling, cling film to make your own lock nut. Yeah, That's a yeah, good idea. Uh, Teflon tape? I, 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 would, I, would, I would think PTFE tape would work the same, which is yeah, Teflon yes. tape at the end of the day. I believe it would. Polytetrafluoroethylene. All right, Let's see what we can do about taking some of this inside out. It's not so tough. Did spend some time earlier uh, just making sure that I had a no well, I didn't need that anyway. Uh, making sure I had a number of gouges sharpened. That was my mouse and my board I was working on. We well, don't need them for a while. We will need them. It's okay, dog. Yeah. It, the thing is, it can't fall any further. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it's at the bottom now. Oh, sad. Man, your jokes don't get any better. What did the janitor say when he jumped out of the closet? Supplies. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh, uh, terrible! Stop it now, Zed. Starting to smell like pine saw in here. Camera. Yeah, nice. View is still okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, grand. Uh, Richard Feelings just come in. Hello, hey, Richard. Richard. My wife complains I never buy her flowers. I didn't even know she sold flowers. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That is good. See, Say good designs. Just come in. Oh, sorry. Good evening. I'm sorry, who was that? Seiko Designs. Seiko. Hello, Seiko. Lots of familiar faces in here. You're getting a lot of support, Doug. 
Yeah, yeah. Thank you all. I appreciate you all coming in. We need a few more American turners to be doing lives. Gary's reminding everybody Gary to... Gary's lost his Sorry, Mark, carry on. Uh, go on, uh, go on. Gary Glass has said, uh, give Doug the thumbs up. Absolutely. And Ward Wilson has said, I have a lot of jokes about unemployment, but none of them work. Paul Hewton's in. Hey, Paul. Paul. Hello, Paul. This is a funny piece of pine. It's got something hard right in this area here. And I guess it's this this line right through here. Yeah. Well, in fact, there's the pith or one of the piths there. There's two on this end. Three. One, two, three. Switch. Uh, I can't get to my mouse this second. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> Just a little hard right there. Now you need it. Now I need it. Yeah, of course. If I turn that just a little bit, that's not good. Now, Doug, that's is that a robust uh, tool rest, or is that the one that comes with? No, this is not. This is robust. It's robust, steel, yeah. The tool steel on top. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, this is my second one I got from him. The first one, I used it about a month, and the, the high-speed steel here came off. I sent him an right. email. Yeah. I sent him an email and he said, that shouldn't be. He said, here's the address. When you get a new one, he said, I'm sending you a new one right now. He said, as soon as it gets in, you put the old one in the box and put this address on it. And that's all of that. Is that um, print English? Yeah, yeah. Kevin at 9K Creations has said uh, Craft Supplies USA had a brilliant colouring a platter video out this week. Covered loads he hadn't seen before. I, I think I saw the the post for that. I haven't actually watched it though yet. Uh, I'm going to watch that later. All right. That's got a pretty good thing. Uh, Andy's on it. just come in. The Valley will turn a Bundy Row. Hi, Andy. Stop winding those kids up. <laughs> I think I'm going to change my mind. I was going to try to leave this edge out here, but I think I'm going to go ahead and take it off so that we have a, a regular square type platter, and then I'll do some texturing in the center. Oh, okay. So I really haven't lost anything. It's just... So Z has put in, why do chicken coops only have two doors? Because if they had four, there would be chicken sedans. Oh my life. I don't believe I read that out. Lucy's asking, did anybody in the southwest have that horrific thunder and hailstorm this afternoon? Yes, we did. And Todd of Glen Culver said, do they make pith helmets out of the centre of trees? Oh, that's terrible. Yes, it Ben's is. Asked, Ben's got a question for you, Doug. What sharpening system do you use, and why is it better than all the others? Because it's mine, and it's paid for. Um, it works. I, I've got a slow-speed grinder. Um, back when they still produced them, uh, Woodcraft had their own line, and uh, I got one of the last ones, and it was on clearance, so uh, I got a good price on it. It's got a uh, aluminum oxide wheel on one side, about 80 grit, and uh, the side closest to me is a 180 grit um, CBN wheel. 
that's what I use with a Wolverine and Vera grind and all that. And of course, you've got the covers on them, haven't you? Um, on the on the aluminum oxide, I do. It wouldn't fit over the the uh, CBN. Lucy said <coughs> to Rob and Mark um, about the the thunderstorms they've had. She said, "I couldn't believe my eyes. The hailstones, hailstones were almost the size of marbles. Yeah, they were. Being your size, Lucy, they're probably the size of footballs." Oh, Lord. Did you hear about the cross-eyed teacher? Couldn't control his pupils. Oh, God. They're, they're getting worse instead of better. Yeah, I don't know who's worse. We're going 26 minutes stuck. All right, we still are relatively thick here. I got one spare for her. Put the other one on. That's better. That's ben, better. Doug's already answered that. What sharpening system? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Come on, Ben. Pay attention. Slow speed grinder. TBN wheel, Wolverine. Right, Zed has just come back with that question about pith helmets. Per Wikipedia, the pith helmet is made from the pith of the shoulder tree. It's also called shoulder, shoulder cork. The helmets were dunked in water and they were soaked up to keep the wearer cool. It's their friend. Yeah, and Andy's just come up with the same thing, so people have been doing the search. What's that statement? Google is your friend? Google is your friend, yep. I went to a seminar one time, and the guy said that about 50 times. Ben said, that's odd. I only typed that once. I don't know what you did, Ben, but it came up twice. Oh, Search bar. Search bar. Yeah, there's a t-shirt for that. Ben said, Lucy? Hillstones, question mark, or little aliens? Just seeing, I think she's got a house full of little aliens at the moment. Hyperactive little aliens. Half inch Doug Thompson skew. Just to define that little center area. I'll probably have to do it again here in just a minute. That's okay. Let's have a, a little fun. That's pretty much the only thing I've had in my hand all day is a skew. Skew, yeah. Yep. 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 When you're doing any kind of spindle stuff, that's the trick, the ticket, isn't it? Yep. I was doing, uh, I guess it was those key rings. Somebody asked me after the video in the comments, they said, nice bit of, uh, Badan work. I said that I really appreciate that, except for one problem. I don't own a Badan. No. It was a half. Doug, is that, a, is that a self adhesive abrasive you got there? No, this is a, All right. a Velcro. It's Velcro backed. All right. Okay. Okay. 
it's I get it in uh, sheets. Uh, it's a meter by a yard. And I, when they come in, I take an old bandsaw blade, put it on the bandsaw, and I cut these down to roughly two inch squares. And then, uh, let's see, I'm going to reverse this. It's just easier. No, I'm not. Um, come down to two inch squares. This is the, 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 the paper I was telling you or saying I used the other day. It's the uh, Rhino Grip or Rhino oh, Lock. Yes. Yeah. From in, in uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a, yeah, that's available over here. Yeah, this is the white rhino that I get. Like I said, I get it in large sheets directly from Indessa. Um, so my I don't think it, I don't think it's as good as Clink Spool though. Just it saying. may not be. Um, <laughs> since you guys are sponsored by them, that's fine. Yeah. Well, I'm not sponsored. I'm not sponsored. Okay. Silence on the other side. <laughs> But it doesn't matter, you know. Um, I've got this. I'm, I'm not too far away from ordering some more. I'm about out of a couple of grits, and so uh, I may well. I've got a Rockler supply, uh, not too far. In fact, it's less than a half mile away from a Woodcraft up in Cincinnati, and uh, that's where that's the closest place I can find the. The cling spore abrasives. <coughs> right. Andy, Andy has said, um, we're just doing the birthday cake, and Lucy says that Mark and Wynn should sing happy birthday for Keziah. Now, is it Kez? Does that get shortened to Kez? I've got to ask Andy first. Uh, who's just come in? Mark S is coming. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark, babe. I, I think I'm the only one that's hung on to that. <laughs> no, we all kind of still do it a bit. Okay. I believe I said it to him at Newark. He came up and gave <laughs> me a big hug. Hello, my papes. There you go. There you go. And if he gets upset about it, his wife started it, so. That's good, Rob. Thank you. I picked up the keys to my unit today, so. I'm just waiting for the stock to arrive so I can fill my unit. I'm still waiting for Andy to get back and see if it's Kazaya or, or if we can do Kez. <clears throat> it may be Kazaya now, but I bet when she gets to secondary school, it gets changed over. Yeah. How's your singing voice, Mark? About the same as me talking voice. <laughs> <laughs> Not good then. No. <laughs> Do you know I used to sing properly? I used to I used to have a really good singing voice. Right, Gerard's asking you, Mark. You obviously doing this. Gerard, uh, you can have one before they even go online. So there you go. Well, I'll let you know when I've got them in stock and I will charge you and send you appropriately, even before it hits the website. Go on, Andy, tell us what we're supposed to call her. Mind you, I've got to say, I use the, um, the Clean Spore uh, abrasive belts for my Pro Edge, and they're absolutely brilliant. Desire. Okay. Right. Ben has said those sanders look so ergonomic. Wish we had them over here. We do, Ben. The same angle hope ones. Oh, I, I don't know if he's talking about the angle drill or the, the inertia sander you were using. Yeah. I think the is... angle drill he's talking about. Yeah. Right. The angle drill. Uh, right. Um, you can get them. Um, Makita do one. DeWalt do one. This is a Chinese one. Very inexpensive. Um, 
Yeah, we we can't get the we can't get those ones over here, Doug. Right. I got this got one. Opinion. I got this Sorry. one from one of my my. Well, in fact, it's the the company I get my pin kits from. They were running on a special for uh, end of the year, and I bought two of them. So I've got this one. I've got one that's never been out of the box, and that, I've had this one for 15 years. Um, but I'm very careful to blow out all four of the vents uh, every time I use it. So it's held up well. All right, Andy's called us playing it. Kazaya. Okay, do you want to do this or what? Yeah, go on. One, two, three. Right. Happy birthday oh, to you. you. Go on. Start again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, we're three different tones. <laughs> Virtually impossible to get the timing right, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. I can remember the breeze. Copper out wood turnings in. Hey, Copper. Evening, Rob. Rob started coming in and into our chats and on the lives, and I thought. Man, there's so many Robs already at that time. I think we had six Robs. So I've just called him Copper ever since. All right. And there's... Rob from Klingspor has said, bring back Joe. All is forgiven. Oh, cheers, Rob. You're all hot. <laughs> oh, me. I used to sing properly. You know, I used to sound like Bobby Williams. Oh, where's the things? <laughs> right, Clint at Wood Dancers is asking you a question here, Doug. Okay. Do you sell your turnings at um, craft shows or galleries? I have a gallery. Um... Yeah, it's uh, a few miles down the road from me at the next, well, two towns down. Uh, and, and, but they don't sell real well. I, last month I sold, uh, what was it, six eggs and a, and a ballpoint pen. So um, I'm not getting rich off of it for sure. I haven't started doing craft shows. Um until recently, well, still, my Sundays are tied up. I'm a, my profession is, is minister. And so uh, my Sundays are pretty well tied up. Um, so I have not done shows. We're starting to get a lot more shows in the area um, that are Friday and Saturday only. Uh, some that are Saturday only. You load in at like 7 in the morning and you can't leave until like 5 in the evening or 6. Yeah. Um, and those are becoming more and more popular. So I may start that, uh, won't be this year for sure. But Doug, surely like the rest of us that do YouTube, you're a multimillionaire. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> As, you know, oh, we yeah. all make Go millions off of YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh man. I've been, I've right. been putting Can videos up for a almost two years now and yeah i'm making a ton of money <laughs> yeah me too not, not. yeah yeah kevin nine k creations has said question as you put drilly on slow to sand is it better to use an L air drill so it blows as well i find air drills tend to be on the fast side and very very noisy and uh, depending on what type of compressor you've got um the air tends to run out and then you've got to wait for it building up again. Yeah. 
And Peter said, Doug, you need to contract you of the singing to be done. I'm sorry, say that again. You, you need to uh, get a contract with Joe if the singing to be done. <laughs> I like I like my walk there to say, 42 people watching, 24 likes, smash the like button, or wait and we'll sing again. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, that's not going to happen again. <laughs> yeah, in, in uh, two or three years, I think that's the only time I've ever heard you sing, Wayne, or try to sing. Yeah, that'll be the first and the last. <laughs> and it was for a birthday. You're a grandpa at heart, aren't you? <laughs> Seeing as though I don't have kids, I'll never be a grandpa. Oh, he's a boy, he's just joined. Hey, Roy. Hey, Roy. All right, that's up to 320 now. Get that out of my way. Yeah, I've been well pleased with those uh, angle drills like that. It's not a 90 degree, uh, but it's uh, whatever that is. Um, it looks to be about 120. Terry Bartlett's just joined. Hey, Terry. With theirs? Plymouth Wood Turners. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, straight up that, and down with the body. Yeah, that looks to be about 120, that one. Yeah, yeah whatever that yeah, is, it, it works well. It's a good angle. Um, every once in a while, I wish I had something just slightly different, but not too often. All right, let's break out the dreaded tool. I don't know why people dread this or think it's scary. I, I love I it. I like it. I love them. Uh, Adam, I love wood turners just come in. Hi, Adam. How are you doing, mate? Ben has said, his children are his dogs and his lathes. Yeah, you're probably right there, Ben. Uh, a little clean up. All right. I guess. Yeah, we're still okay there. Rob from Clingsboy says Bosch to a multi-angle battery drill. The only problem with the battery drills, they Ooh, don't tend to spin quite as fast. They're not, yeah, they're not fast enough and they're not powerful enough for me, yeah. for the way that I stand. Yeah, I kind of like the, the corded drill just for that very reason. Yep. I wouldn't, I wouldn't swap my Makita, I must admit. I find I barely use the uh, Simon Oak inertia sanders anymore. I tend no, to take I'll, the inertia sanders on demonstrations. Um, I tend to just take it with me on demonstrations so I don't have to worry about plugging a drill in. Mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. but in the workshop, I thought I use. No, I've been using drilly for years and it works fine for me. Yeah. I must, I must get in touch with Andy from um, from Dremel to see if I can get a Bosch one for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Brim is asking, Doug, what tool were you using? On now? the center there, please. No, for the, the, uh, oh, the other one? That was the, the Sorby texture Mini tool. Texture Tool, yeah. That was the Mini? micro one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that's just my half inch skew laid on its side. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's been a while now. Um, someone was asking you, Wayne, about the difference between using the, uh, there it is, the uh, a powered versus a battery operated drill to you do the sanding. And I agree with what you said on it there, that the, the powered is just not as fast and you can bog it down so much easier. Um, yeah. I'd rather use the powered one and know what I got. I know Steve it's will constant, use this. It's, it's consistent. Yes. It is. And 
Um, I mean, like Brian tends to say on on his lives that if, if you if if you are sanding too fast, you can produce heat, which can um, which can make the arbors oh, delaminate. I'm, 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 glue. No, it's not not to do with the abrasive. It's, it's to do with the wood. But the the thing is, if you can get a, a very good um, cut off the tool, you don't need to sand that much. I mean, the, for anybody that watches my lives, I only tend to give a couple of passes with mm -hmm. with with drilly, and then that's it done. Then I move on to the next, onto the next. Um, well, one twenty, two forty. I'm just going to a brush simply because of the control. I was using that paper towel and it was about to get out of control on me. This is uh, the uh, Hampshire Sheen colored waxes. They're, they're, I like them. Quite often use them over black. Wayne has showed us time and time again, putting things over black just really enhances the color, and it does, even with these. Yeah. But these will give a nice color on this uh, straight pine as well. Right. Uh, now, Doug said there, there I've said that lots of times. The mm -hmm. only reason that I've said that is that I got that information from Martin Saban Smith, uh, who... Um, produces the uh, intrinsic colors because that's the way that that he does stuff uh, we've had niantic river woodcrafting with chris neal and join uh yappy makes hi yappy hi yappy and rob from clingspore has said that heat melts the top coat of abrasives and makes them unuse uh, unusable uh-huh I have uh, sanded too hard and caused the uh, the Velcro and the sandpaper to separate. Yeah. That's a load of fun. Why, why yeah, won't that stick? I, I've, <laughs> I've, 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 now, I found that with a lot of the, the cheaper um, abrasives where they delaminate. Yes. In fact, you went through a whole bout there, didn't you? Well, I'll get that that's so you can see here in a second. Yep, that's the purple. purple. That's that's the embellishing with the purple embellishing wax from Hampshire. Yes, see. yes, and it works quite well, quite well. Give that just a second. Um, while that's setting up, little conversation starter. I was gonna say, I've what's that, Doug? I've seen that around before. <laughs> <laughs> And if What's I don't that use, too, Doug? it starts conversations. <laughs> if I don't use that, I use this. Uh, same thing, except it's loose instead of in an aerosol can. But for this project, we're going to use the aerosol here in just a minute after I buff this off. Now, hang on a second here. That sand and sealer in the bottle, uh huh. that doesn't look like any sand and sealer I've seen. What kind was that? <sighs> this is the same as this. It's deft lacquer sanding sealer. I get it loose in the can, put it in here, mix it 50 50. Um, you can go 60 40, you can go 70 30 in either direction. Um, I've yeah. heard everybody use every kind of uh, formula. Um, I like the 50 50, it works fine. And so uh, that's what I typically use if I'm not using this. Uh, but because I've got this wax on here, I'm going to use the spray. All I'm doing here is kind of knocking off the excess, buffing it in, which will sort of halfway set it before I use the uh, sanding sealer. So Get that groove cleaned out a little bit. So you need to work on your material, but Yeah, I know. But I'll let Doug know what he said. So Zed said, did you hear about the guy who tried to kill a man with sandpaper? He only intended to rough them up a bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. Yeah. Yep. I, uh, 
I start hearing these things go flying and I, I can't help, I giggle a little bit because I think of my grandfather. He was a typesetter. And so he had a way with language that was just, just blew my mind. He'd come up with stuff and, and uh, what do you mean by that? He said, just think about it. Just think about it. All of this will get re-sanded here uh, a little bit later. But uh, just wanted to get it so that it looked halfway decent for you guys. <laughs> GP is said to you, Doug. Um, you can see there's some CE on the shelf. Is that your chosen finish for tonight's piece? Uh, no. <laughs> CA is not a finish. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, I forgot. You're American. That right there makes a fan, phenomenal pin finish. One coat, wipe it on, wipe it off, and then buff it, and you're done. Um, but that's medical grade Parfex 3408. I'm not going to turn that up too much or I'll sling that stuff off of there. Uh, Chris from Bailey Woodwork says... His grandfather was also a printer typesetter. Yeah. Well, Ward Wilson has said, I was raised as an only child. It was very hard on my brother. <laughs> now that one I kind of like. All right, that's already set up. Looks pretty good. Ah, what kind of time have we got? You are 51 minutes in. 51 minutes, okay. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. At 51 minutes, that's kind of where we're going to stop for today. Um, like I said, I'm going to do some more finish sanding, front and back. Uh, I haven't done anything to the back at all, not even sanded at all. But let's see if I take that and I take. Am I going? No, I'm not. Yes, I am. It's a recess, not a tenon. I see, I normally do a tenon, and so I was going the wrong way. <laughs> There's my hashtag week piece. There you go. It'll right. Get a little more work, but not much. Are you going to have to cut some the edges off that duck? Seeing as I was yeah. it's supposed to be eight inch. Right, eight inches. I will take it to the uh, table saw, and I'll just trim uh, all four of the edges, just a just a touch. And that'll Excellent. also sharpen up my corners even more. They're they're okay. I've I've still got all four corners. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd appreciate that, Mark. Um, <laughs> but there you have it. <laughs> I'll also uh, in the recess there. I will put my maker's mark. And uh, I know Mark, you claimed it, but I've I've used three circles as part of my maker's mark I, for 20 yeah, years. <laughs> I haven't copyrighted it. I just use it. <laughs> I'll, I'll put three circles in there. Uh, on the outer one, I'll put wood spun around. Uh, on the middle one, I'll put the date, uh, usually at the bottom. And then also in the center, I will put the wood species. Uh, this one is pretty obvious, but for those folks buying this, uh, if somebody buys this, they'll, they won't know necessarily. So... I will put pine on there, or if it happens to be oak, or what else have I got sitting here? Um, Lots of really nice comments coming through, Doug. Well, thank you. Thank you, guys. Good job, Doug. Super looking piece of wood. Nice piece, Doug. Uh, like, like that. Great uh, live. Not. Good seeing you. <laughs> Looks great, Doug. All four corners. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, thank you for filling in for me tonight, by the way, Doug. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm glad I could do it. Um, I'm gonna was gonna try, and I am gonna try. Um, Scott and I are, are having a conversation about working on Thursday nights and sharing those. Um, he he is able to do this week, but then the next two weeks he's he's gonna be out. Well, it happens that I'm gonna be out the next two weeks, so uh, it'll be the first of June probably before I get in on on Thursday nights. Um, but willing to. Uh, fill in for most anybody anytime I, i'm pretty happy about that except lunchtime. That's, that's too early for me <sighs> uh, 
y'all start at one o'clock your time. That's eight o'clock my time. And that's just, I'm barely getting my eyes open. Your wife goes to work at six. She could wake you up. You could get ready. Um, no excuse. About two thirds of the time, Mark, I don't even know she leaves. Well, we can change that. I'll phone your wife. <laughs> She'll say, England, I'm not answering that. <laughs> yeah. She's she's a she's a good one. I tell you what, but yeah, she's up and out. She drives a what 15, 20 minutes north of here to the next town up, and uh, uh, works at a rehab hospital. Does a phenomenal job. It's a rehab hospital that, because of COVID, they started taking in medical patients, folks who right. couldn't stay in the hospital, but they weren't ready to go home yet. So they bring them in there, try to beef them up a little bit, get them ready to go home, and. That takes up about 90% of her time. And then her rehab patients, if I stand over here and look at you guys, it'd be a little better. Yeah. Um, anyway, the, her rehab patients, she feels like they get overlooked a little bit too often. So hopefully that's going to change here in the next uh, little while. What's Appreciate everybody coming in. And... Great. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I said I, I spent some time in a rehab hospital. It was mm -hmm. the last one I was in before I went home. And I've got to say, it was the best one I was in. Yeah. You had to get you up, what, two or three times a day to do rehab? and Two to three, usually stuff? six or seven. Oh, yeah. really? Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah no. Kelsey's Crafts has just joined just at the end. All right, Kelsey. Good to yeah, have you she, in with us. She did see it was a beautiful ball, and purple is, a, is her favorite color. Ah, seems to be there's a lot of folks that like that purple color. <laughs> yeah, there are. Um, yeah. yeah. Speaking of which, we haven't seen Ashley in quite a while, have we? Yes, Todd. <laughs> no, you've done a good job, mate. First All live, right. cracked it. First live, and we got through it. We didn't uh, didn't lose any corners. Didn't hurt, get lose a finger. Um, <laughs> none of that stuff. So we're in good Damn shape. Corners. I didn't even yeah. go through the bottom. Oh, man. That'd be a bit a difficult tiny. to go through the bottom with that big bulge in, in, in the bottom. Yeah, you cheated. Well, yeah. Three and a half inches thick. <laughs> no, it's not. Holy moly. <laughs> um, it's the like edge of that, your pets. that edge of that medallion is right at the edge of my foot that I've got under there. So if I squeak, well, that's not, that's the wrong tool. Um, well, where is that tool? Holy cow. My tool table looks like the countertop behind Wayne's lathe. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I can't find a thing. Oh, it's so noisy. He's not just picking on me then. No, no. it's I'm an equal opportunity picker. No. Uh, anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's that thick pretty well all the way through quarter of an inch maybe a little over just a hair over a quarter inch which is when i do the square plates well even when i do bowls my rim typically shows what it is the entire way through so it works out pretty well that way rob from clingsport says all four corners no funnel no blood you need to work on your live streaming doug <laughs> well You're the band-aids are all the way like this <laughs> Well, we could we can manage that, I guess, because I hear I heard a rumor that Mark's going or uh, Steve is going to have funnel as one of his hashtag weeks. So uh, we'll just see how that works out. I may or may not participate in that. One. <laughs> I don't, I don't well, the, well, Steve Steve's actually an expert at doing funnels anyway. Yes, I, I watched both of those when he did it two weeks in a row. Yes. Yeah. No, Pete Pete actually did a video when he meant to do a funnel. Uh huh. As uh -huh. well, um, and I so that. yeah, it, it, and it was could incredibly be difficult week. to do. <laughs> and it was he, he found it very, difficult, very difficult to do. Yeah, you think you're almost through, and and you still got a quarter inch or half an inch or whatever to go. It's crazy. I don't find it any problem at all. I did one last week. <laughs> well, Mark's always doing them. He just show them. Yeah, them from all different directions. <laughs> I just thought when I put this back on, I may put another band of texture out here. Right. That ought, that'd probably see, look good, uh, wouldn't it? 
Seiko is asking, could you put the, the piece up close to the camera to show the texture? There you go. Up a bit. There you up go. A bit. There you go, that's it. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. We we can just keep going. There you go. Now you can really see it. Yeah. Yeah, now it works. <laughs> Those knots just give it give it some life and the texture in the center. Like I said, I think I might do another band of texturing out here. Maybe try to go the other direction with it. It's just a matter of turning that tool over in the other angle. And uh, yeah, I think that would look good. Maybe a different color even. Oh, I know. I've got the hot pink wax. <laughs> oh, it was do, all going so well. <laughs> it was all going so well. <laughs> well, and, and you know, I I grew up in that era where purple and pink were yeah, they work well the together with a certain group. That was the sixties. <laughs> if you if you could remember it, you weren't there. Oh, seventies. <laughs> it went into the seventies, yeah. But yes, the sixties for sure. Don't over texture. I'm sorry. Say what? Ruby has said, "Don't over texture." Don't over texture, right? Yeah. No, Ruby. I was only talking about a half inch to three quarter inch band, about halfway out, somewhere in there. That might actually look nice. Yeah. Unless, I th I think unless so. of course, you, you you call Jeff Hornung, and then you can just text it to your heart's content. Oh, I've done that. Y'all seen that, haven't you? Or Nick Agar. He's another one. Yeah. 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 Texture it within an inch of its life. Nick Hagar, this reminds me of his work with that, that center medallion. Yeah. Of course, he would put he would put one on this outer part of this dome part and use gold or something like that, which it would look good. But I think I'll come out just a little further than that. And I may use gold, but it'll probably have to have black under it just so it'll stand out. Gold on that pine wouldn't show up very good. Well, guys, yeah, I'm going to knock this one in the head. Thank you all. Thank you, Mark and Wayne, for coming in. Mark, for helping me set all of this mess up. Um, I've actually had to set up twice. First computer I had in here, I was up, ready to go. Lo and behold, the computer was too old. It would not, uh, would not accept any of the programming I needed <laughs> to use. So I switched it out. It's sitting in my, <clears throat> excuse me, in my den. I've got to take some stuff out of the hard drive. We've had some late pictures. nights. Yeah, yes. Yeah, we were working on this one, I think, what, at 11, 11.30, something of that it's nature. 11, my time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, and then called you back and you said, I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah, <that's different> <laughs> Which I didn't blame you. I did not blame you. I, I, you just said, I'm, I'm hardly ever in bed before midnight. Here it was about 20 till. And he says, I'm in bed, <laughs> which is fine, which is fine. I totally understand. There are those days when we just have. I oh, know it was only because I had, uh, I had a student booked the next day, so I had. Right, right. You had to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. But which I've got we got one tomorrow, so same. Right, we got it all set up. I am going to move a, a couple of things uh, after starting to use it just a little bit. I'm seeing I've got some issues. My monitor, which is over over there and above, is going to get moved over right behind where you're you're viewing from right now, and uh, that'll help me so that I'm not looking off in a wild direction when I'm trying to talk with you guys. But anyway, that's uh, that's it for today. A square, eight and a half inch, eight and a half ish bowl plate, um, square with all four corners, <laughs> textured and embellished with a little purple. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just God, had to. Go. God, I, I, go. That's the last you'll hear from me, Mark, sorry. <laughs> Now, we might talk about black and yellow, but we won't talk about corners. Oh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, folks. Thank you all again for joining me. It's been a lot of fun. I uh, hope you'll come back and see us. Um, click the like button on your way out if you would. And uh, if you don't mind, after this is completed, if you'll go back in and just put hello or something in the comment box, that'll be uh, much appreciated. It helps things move along. So uh, until next time. Hope you're able to spin them around. Say goodbye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Everybody. Press the button. To pull. He's going to find the mouse first. Yeah, he's, he's going to find the mouse. And get and the sawdust the out board. of it. And press the button twice.
Do, 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 do. We gotta go off and back on. <laughs> we could be here for a while, folks. Oh, yeah. batteries weren't all the way in. They fell out. Do, 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 do. Go, and, go and grab a coffee, coffee everybody. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. I knew we needed it, just didn't know how quick. You still haven't pressed the button. Oh, that's because the button's in the cover. Uh, craziness. This is a crazy mouse. All right. There's that button. There's that button. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. Talk